Hi, this is Gary from Cubase Academy. Thanks for watching the video today. Today we're going to talk about Cubase workspaces. And I'll be working in Cubase 8.5 Pro, but workspaces have been around for a long time with very few changes. So as you know, when you work in Cubase, there are many windows of information. There are um, mixer windows and uh, windows of tracks. There's going to be VST windows. Uh, and so a way to manage all those windows uh, is workspaces. So right now I'm actually in uh, using no workspace whatsoever. So this is just my default. So currently, if I were to look at the windows I have available, I have the project window. I have my mix console, which uh, I have set to just show audio and uh, MIDI and instrument channels only. I have to keep it clear, when I have a larger project, I set my mixers up so they show different information. And of course, I've got my EQs and my inserts and such. And then I have another window, which is my uh, Mix Console 3. And that's just showing my groups and uh, my effects only. Okay, I'm showing the EQ line uh, at the top. So the only, I only have a couple of options, really, to switch between them. Uh, I can use the window. Uh, menu, which is a bit tedious. I can also um, bring up the mixer um, just with the shortcut key. You can see here Mix Console is set to F3 under Devices. So if I just want to hit F3 on my keyboard, uh, it would bring up, uh, it should bring up the Mix Console, <laughs> but it doesn't. I don't know why that is. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this is just not a convenient way necessarily of working. Now I also work in multiple monitors. For this demo of course I can only use one screen but I normally work in three monitors. So with a combination of templates and workspaces I have a very uh, intuitive way of working. So let's just talk about workspaces for a second. There are two kinds of workspaces. There are global workspaces and project workspaces. And if you look at these, this list here of current workspaces, they all have a G beside them, and the G means they are global. And global means they are available to all projects. So when you open a project, that those particular workspaces are available. The other kind of workspace is a project workspace. So you could have a set of basic workspaces that you use in every single uh, project. Those will be global. And then some very specific ones, if you're working on specific VSTs or or certain kinds of uh, layouts that you where you want to see the information, you could save those to your local project and they wouldn't affect any other project. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into um, workspaces and say organize. Now you can see at the top I've got global workspaces and by default when you create the workspaces they are assigned an alt number pad shortcut. So this is alt number pad one to so on and so on. I'm going to add a project workspace uh, by just clicking the add button here and I'm going to give it a name and I'm just going to call it compose. Okay, so this will be my project workspace. I'm not, for the sake of this demo, I'm not going to uh, affect my uh, production working uh, workspaces. <laughs> It took me too long to set them all up the way I like them. So I'm going to make a project workspace called Compose. And you can see that there it is. Um, and it's automatically set to Alt Num 6. Project workspaces start with the shortcut Alt Number Pad 6. Now, to organize that workspace, right now this is the workspace. Right, what you're seeing, it's actually remembered the, f the configuration of all of these windows. So let's, let's set the Compose window the way we want it and then update the workspace. So I'm going to close this window and I'm going to switch to my Cubase project here. I'm going to take it out of Max here and I'm just going to size it to fit the window. And do this a little bit here. And now I'm going to take my uh, main mixer and do the same thing. Uh, and actually, I'm going to close this one for now. I'm just going to fit my mixer 
and really, I probably should turn off the racks because there's no way I'm going to be able to fit all the racks in there, right? So I turn off the racks and size my mixer window until it's kind of how I want it. Right. So this I could call, or maybe, maybe I need to shrink this down a little more, bring this down a little more. Yeah, I'm going to close this window here. There we go. And so, all right. So I'm going to say I'm happy with this. I'm even going to move this over here and say this I'm happy with. So I'm going to come up and you can see that it says workspace is P6. That means it's a project workspace and it's got an asterisk beside it. And that means we've changed it since the workspace was recalled. Now, if I was to select the workspace again from here, it would completely reset everything we've done and go back to the way it was when we created the workspace. But what I'm going to do instead is choose Update Workspace. That's a shortcut Alt-U. Now this workspace is memorized. Okay. But I did like having the full mixer. I did like seeing the rack and I did uh, that is something that is useful to me. So I'm going to create a second workspace. Workspaces add workspace and see the shortcut is control number pad zero a project workspace which we're just going to call large mixer okay and now I'm going to minimize this window maximize this window turn the racks back on and that's actually all I want to see for now so um, workspaces update workspace now I can switch between these workspaces very very quickly and I have shortcut keys alt number six and seven seven is mix six is compose and you can see I've got a couple of instruments in here uh, I did that for a reason so I'm gonna pull up my uh, VSTs here Whoops, <laughs> I was demoing a library. And uh, I want to be able to see these VSTs quickly, make changes to them. So in my project, I can make a new workspace. We'll just call it VST for now, because we and to make sure it's project. OK. It's that simple. It really is. So Alt-6 is, com is Compose, Alt-7 is Big Mixer, and Alt-8 is VSTs. And that, in a nutshell, is workspaces. Um, in a combination, as I said before, with your templates, you know, your templates allow you to build out what your default tracks and VST chains and uh, your window layouts on single monitors or multiple monitors. And once you have that the way you really like it and you've got a good workflow, then you can save a global workspace. And that will be available then to all of your projects. Um, and then very specific ones. I may not use VSTs in every project. I may just want a VST uh, workspace just for a simple single project. Then I would create a project workspace that would not proliferate through all of the other projects. And that is it for workspaces. Very simple, very, very powerful. Im improve your workflow enormously. Well, that's it for me today. This has been Gary from Cubase Academy. Please uh, like the video, share, comment, let me know what you want to see in the future. And as always, I really appreciate you watching this video. Thanks.